girls in here crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City. Keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> All you. 18. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article... Volume 22. He's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on with the bluff. This place, Diamond City, what is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Who will let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrap for part. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something. Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case to come through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there's uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help? 
I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Head on inside. Check a few things first. We'll talk later. Paper sales. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and weeks. Yeah, it's still keeps breaking. And what is one of those things? It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hey there. If you're looking for a haircut, the salon's open in the morning. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in. That's the booze. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Or it is something bad. Fuck the hell of you see witchcraft. Just a minute. 
I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing this, right? wearing nothing but a smile. When well, out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters in my work. A Maya jerk! Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. I forgot you were there yet. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Jesus, bud. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I killed it. I killed it. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to work. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bob Rob's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking. <laughs> I'll think about it. You know where to find me. Hey, the Dean. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to- <laughs> Let me think it over. Uh, all right. You read the paper. Dance. Highly commandments. Can I get a room? Adin. Good to see you returning customer. <laughs> Most die. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. Sure. Music. Sure. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshine. Why can't I get a room, though? I don't want to drink. I don't need anything. Come back later, then. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't nice. heard nothing. Hi there. You can order a drink. Oh, hello again. I can take your order whenever you're ready. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Here's your money. You're in room two, just through the door. Hey, you theme. Have a nice day. Don't throw up all over my floor. Just buy yourself, will you? Don't move! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin! Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Move along. Hey, John. Uh, hey. Uh, just come back later, huh? Fuck this guy.
I'll take your order. John. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. Little flecks of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a treat. Sure. Just sit down, relax, and let the magic happen. For your hair, I'm thinking highlights. Or we could try a short shave on the sides. Or uh, maybe some braids. Uh, what are my options? You name it. Shit? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. All right.
Don't mind my ma. She's always a little bit cranky. Just focus on you and that lovely SJ. Bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something the wrong. Photographs. <laughs> he never did photograph well. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective, he's gone missing. Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. 